Hello, and welcome to the Department of Music's Approximately Daily Podcast, an approximately daily presentation of information and music from the DOM at Georgia Southern University. My name is Stephen Harper, and I'm the chair of the department. The Department of Music is best known for its outstanding performances, but a liberal arts education is more than professional training, and the department endeavors to engage everyone in the university community with an interest in music, including research in music. Today's guest host, Dr. Laura Stambaugh, Head of Music Education, tells us about a study conducted by students in her Music and the Brain Research Group. Hello, this is Dr. Laura Stambaugh, and I'm a Music Education faculty member in the Department of Music at Georgia Southern University. Two years ago, I began a new opportunity for undergraduate students across campus. It's called the Music and Brain Research Group, we're interested in how the brain understands music. For the past year, we have been looking at the use of background music when students study. I'm going to tell you about a research study we completed just prior to the campus closures. Our members, Leighton, Melanie, Christian, Abby, and Sarah, come from a variety of majors, including chemistry, music, and psychology. They were preparing to present this research at the Spring Curio event, but instead we will present the results in this format. The first thing the students had to do was learn about what is already known about studying and using background music. So they, in their lit review, they found that background music can help with relaxation, alleviating boredom, and with concentration during certain times of studying. But other studies showed that background music actually wasn't so helpful. It didn't help with visual text. It didn't have a positive effect on mood. Sometimes it wasn't as helpful as quiet or library situations. And for musicians, it actually had a negative impact on their studying compared to non-musicians. This led us to our research questions. First, we were interested in the type of activities for, during studying that students used background music for. So this includes things like reviewing for a test, reading for understanding, group work, um, creative projects, doing math problems. Are there certain types of activities that students are more likely to use background music for? None of the research had looked at that. Then we were interested in why students choose to use background music. We wanted to know if musical experience interacted with people's use of background music. And we were curious if people moved when they actually were listening to background music. Once our study had been approved by the Human Subjects Board, we recruited 43 participants from our campus community. Um, they were recruited through flyers and convenient sampling. We created an online questionnaire, and participants completed that, talking about their um, background in music and the different types of study activities that they either did or did not use music for. Results. So first we looked at the college that students came from and how likely they were to listen to music while studying. Students in COSM, so science and mathematics, were pretty likely to use music when they're studying. Whereas arts and humanities, the red bar, Many of those students never used music when they're studying. So then we broke down students from science and mathematics because that was our largest subsample. And we found that they often would use music when they're reviewing class materials, but they were less likely to use it when they're doing something hard like preparing for a test or a quiz. And they would never use music, many of them, while reading for understanding. In the behavioral and social sciences, students didn't use music a lot while they were doing their homework. Then, as far as why students use music when they're studying, the kind of the mustard color uh, bars in the graph represent it, that it lowers stress. So it seems that for most of the students, they're using music because it lowers stress. Um, then there are several students who never used music 
it was kind of interesting to see that blocking out noise was not one of the reasons that students are using music when they study. And then last, we looked at their background experience in music. There was no significant relationship between prior musical experience and use of background music when studying. So it didn't really matter if you're a music major or not a music major, not a strong relationship um, between your musical experience and your using music when you're studying. In conclusion, our results found that most students use background music in order to lower stress. Science and mathematics students use it more than arts and humanities students. Music experience was not strongly related to the use of music when studying. And the attentional demands of the study activity, like studying for a test, those were related to how often students used music. Our research numbers suggested um, following studies to be looking at students from other universities and at different age levels like graduate students and non-traditional students. We should look at why certain types of study activities were not associated with the use of music. And then it would be really interesting to look at the type of music or the genre of music that people listen to and how does that relate to this type of um, study activity they're doing. We thank you for listening and learning about our research and we encourage you to be more aware of how you use background music in your own life. <laughs>